With your first news at 10 sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Well, the Big Sticks are back in Dickinson after their longest road trip of the summer. Up next is their longest homestand of the year. The next 11 games on the schedule are in the Queen City, and it starts against the Casper Spuds. The Spuds would open the scoring in the first inning. Nathan Martinez hits a hard line drive that's a little too hot for Troy Berg to handle, and that brings in the first run of the game. Max Martin got the start on the mound for the Big Sticks, who are in a bit of a jam here with the bases loaded, but Martin gets that big strikeout, his second in the inning, to limit the damage. The Big Sticks were harding it, uh, finding it hard to get a hit in this game. The first one came in the third. In fact, it came off a perfectly laid down bunt by Cam Cruder as uh, he would be left stranded. However, in the fifth inning, Isaac Huddle up here hits one to the second baseman, nearly caught, but the play does continue. It rolls out of his glove, but Casper would go on to win this game by the final of five to two, scoring four earned unearned runs in the top of the ninth. After splitting in Wilmer, the Larks road trip takes them to La Crosse. The Loggers are in last place in the Great Plains East. Bismarck is in the middle of the West. It's five and five in its last 10 games. Tied at <clears throat> in the third inning of this game, Nick Oakley likes that high fastball. It's the Larks second baseman, rips it to right and sends it over the fence. Oakley's first home run of the summer. Bismarck is ahead. Next inning, Robert uh, Klez in, the in his fourth game, from the University of San Diego blasts that one to center and takes it out to make it a three to one game. The Larks would build a really nice big lead on home runs. Here's Connor Mish adding to it a solo shot to left center. But check out the final eight to seven. Lacrosse comes all the way uh, back and they win it on a walk off two run Bismarck air. The Chiefs swept Fargo post 400 last night. Today the bus took them to the Magic City for a tournament. Mandan's first matchup is against Kalispell, Montana. Bottom of the first uh, with two runners on, Mandan's Dylan uh, Gerke lifts one to center field. Lucas Bergham would score, Hudson Sheldon would as well, and the Chiefs have that two-run lead. The lead kept building, this time on a wild pitch. It's McCoy Keller taking off for home. And really no need to slide. He easily beats the throw in that same inning. It's uh, Tucker Horner coming up and swinging at the off speed pitch. He brings in a couple of runs. Horner in this game was two for two with three RBIs as Mandan goes on to win by the final of 11, excuse me, 12 to one. The Chiefs will play Minot tomorrow at 230. Dickinson Rough Riders in Williston tonight. Top of the sixth inning, Dickinson's Colin Tesher gives it a ride to the wall. He will head uh, to second base on the double. And then the Rough Riders will come up with another hit. Camden Kubis comes through with the RBI in the next at bat. Cheddar scores to give Dickinson the lead. They win it by the final of four to three. Split on the day, eight five. Keyberts in game two. And the Twins, eight to one, beat Baltimore tonight. All right, finally. Yes. They did it. All right.